G'day guys and girls, welcome back to the channel and another video. In this one, we're going to be installing the PowerFlex driver's side and transmission mount inserts. Just taking a look at what we're doing today, we've got the driver's side mount here, the transmission mount under here, and we're just going to strengthen the standard mounts using the driver's side and transmission side engine mounts from PowerFlex. So these guys back in November gave me a pretty nice discount and I decided I really definitely need that one because on cold mornings, this one is squeaky as all hell and I just want to strengthen it and get some more life out of that one before I need to upgrade. Now I've enlisted the help of Mitch today who's done my downpipe and a few other jobs for me. Um, we've got the car up on ramps going to put a jack underneath the engine just to support it and one at a time we're going to remove each mount and Mitch is going to fit the the inserts in we need to remove that headlight and just move the coolant bottle out of the way and on this side we're going to remove the air box and the intake pipe and hopefully we can get enough access without removing the battery but we'll see how we go this was all of a five minute job for Mitch with the right tools. So as you can see, we've moved this out of the way, removed the headlight. The mount is now completely removed with just all these bolts. And this is what we've got left. So we've got our PowerFlex mount. As you can see here, it's got a shape on one side and not the other. So that is the bottom which will fit into there. So we're just gonna refit this with the ring because this is split and you fit the ring in the groove there. And then we're gonna refit it back into there. Now the idea is it's gonna give this, you, you can see me moving that with my hand which probably isn't good but it's going to give this a lot more rigidity having a poly bush in there than the stock rubber one. So I'll show you what it looks like all fitted back up. 10 minutes later and Mitch is done with the driver's side, which is awesome. We just need to put the coolant bottle back and the headlight. So you, as you can see, we've got the pineapple slice from PowerFlex in there, as I showed you just before. We've got the original engine rubber, which mine was still in pretty good nick, which is good, um, on top of it. And as I said earlier, I'm hoping that this is going to reduce the cold morning squeaks and prolong the life of the mount. And now we are just going to move, we're going to remove this, we're going to remove this, and the battery is going to come out because Mitch has said that the mount itself is underneath the battery tray and one of the bolts is a part of the bottom of the battery tray. So I'm going to let Mitch crack on with that. More progress. All of this has been removed. The battery's out. The tray is out. I'm going to clean that out. That's filthy. And so we've got two bolts down here. We're going to take this bracket out as well. More Mitch is. We've got two bolts to the chassis and then three bolts to the actual gearbox. And then the mount will come out and these will be fitted up. Again, I'm just going to let Mitch do his thing and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all fitted. <laughs> Beautiful, so we're out already. We've got the two bolts and then the three for the actual mount. You can see down here we've got the jack. So what Mitch has done is gotten the chassis bolts out first, jacked up the gearbox a little bit just to take the pressure off and then removed the mount from the actual transmission itself. And there we go. There is a little bit of play in that, um, quite a bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's got holes all around it. And built for comfort, not for speed. So we're gonna get the inserts in and get this back in the car. So Mitch is just showing us here, that's how much movement there is in the stock mount. Now mine isn't ripped or anything like that, but there's quite a lot of movement and we'll do a comparison and show you what it's like with the PowerFlex inserts. 
So this is with the PowerFlex inserts. As you can see, there's a lot less movement, which is what I'm going for. For the cost of these, compared to a brand new mount, you can't go wrong with that. Job done. It's amazing how quick an expert can do this stuff. We're just gonna put the battery back in and the airbox. Now, as you can see, we've got the little locking piece, the purple piece here. And Mitch has greased up the face of this yellow piece here, just cause it, just cause it rubs up against the, um, the body here. So a little bit of grease on there is gonna stop any squeaks. Um, another tip that Mitch has said is these bolts that go down into the chassis, do them up by hand first. Not only for cross-threading purposes, but the threads in there are only tack welded in and you're gonna have a bad day if you go straight in with a um, rattle gun and break any of those tack welds. So just be careful of that when you're doing this. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna refit the battery tray and all of the supporting mounts here and job will be done. Job done. This has taken Mitch literally about half an hour with stopping to film as well. So a novice, if you've, if you've played around with your car before and you've taken headlights out and you've replaced your battery and your intake, it'll probably take you about an hour um, just make sure that you've got like a rattle gun and a torque wrench for the, all the bolts. Um, but other than that, the power flex boxes do come with instructions anyway. So every single one's got its own instructions and you can't go wrong. So this is the first of my power flex install videos. We've just done the drivers and transmission side um, engine mounts. Initially, I've driven the car a couple of times now and there is a bit more vibration, which like having a rear motor mount install, I do expect that to settle down a little bit and I will give it some time to settle down because my next PowerFlex video will be the rear engine mount. Now, I have a rear engine mount from Mountune which has the yellow PowerFlex bushes, but I will be installing the PowerFlex one with the purple bushes just to see how that goes and how it holds up on track. So I'll let this, um, I'll let these two mounts settle in first and then we'll go from there. Big thanks to Mitch for the home visit. Um, couldn't have done it, or I probably could have done it without him now that I've seen how it's done. Probably take a person about an hour. If you've meddled with your car before and you have half an idea of how things come out, you could probably do it in about an hour with the right tools. Mitch smashed through it. Even filming this probably took about half an hour so it's amazing watching an expert do it who knows what they're doing but you could do this one at home if you if you needed to um, and of course a huge thanks to powerflex and powerflex australia they've worked with me on this one they gave me a nice little discount just to make the videos and post this up on instagram and whatnot 44 underscore revo 2 um, if you like the video give it a like have a comment have a chat with me Subscribe to the channel, there is more Fiesta ST and car care videos to come. Thanks for watching as always.